What is going on today guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here coming at you guys with a updated uh, uh, SAO trial deck. I mean not trial deck, sorry. SAO uh, deck profile on my updated version with post EB SAO. I don't know how to call it. Post SAO EB I guess. So gun get post gun gale online. Um, deck's really solid now, really good, got, got a lot of good support, a lot of nice hollows, and I finally got around to resleeving the deck, so hope you guys like it. But yeah, let's get into the deck profile, shall we? I did change the ratios and colors a lot, so by the title you'll probably tell that I've changed a lot, but I did manage to keep a few things constant, so we still run four of the Ozanas, yellow, um, really good card, healer, pay one, discard one. Everything else gains plus 5k, 500, and a soul, so really relevant still, really powerful, and it's really good. I The only issue is that yellow now, in, nowadays was pretty hard to fit inside the deck. It's the only drawback. Then we run four uh, Shinon, um, four Shinon healers. So her ability is that she can heal on either via change or he, um, via change or, um, Placing from hand, and the her ability is that when she's climax, when she has gone climax, when she's during climax combo, you can. What is it? You can pay two stock and discard one card, and then deal four damage to your opponent. And if they happen to cancel that four damage, then this card gains plus three thousand five hundred until the end of their turn, I believe. And then on top of that, when she gets reversed, though, even though because this card's so broken. <laughs> They could. They had to make it a bit balanced. When this card gets reversed, it get it gets sent to memory, so it can't be used again. Which is why we run for this deck for specifically why we run um four eight level threes because once these card like once or few of them are out, you're pretty much running at least like seven or six. Uh, onto level twos, we run uh five now. So before it used to be one. So we did really upgrade. So we run two of these cards. Um, two Shinons. Um. Hollow versions, because I got hollows. Um, yeah, so her ability is that her ability is that when she's facing uh, her opponent, like when her her battling opponent is level three or higher, she gains plus three thousand. And then on top of that, for you can rest uh, two characters, and then she'll gain plus two thousand five hundred. So it's a really strong card, and it's a two one. So it's basically it's basically a level three at level two. Just. Trying to get, I'm trying to get all of these in shot, but you know it's kind of hard. Then we run um one, one machine on healer uh changer. So her ability is not just changing, but also the ability that she gains everything in front of her plus ten thousand. I think everything in the front row to begin with. Um, and then on top of that, it's the standard during your climax step, um, discard uh pay two and then discard one card change. Now the only reason that we only run one of them is one because I only have one hollow, but actually it's really not just because of that because I have a bunch of normal rare ones. It's just the fact that this card when it goes out into memory, then you don't have really any target for this. So this is only good for early game and uh, not really good for late game. It's just good for the fact that it gives plus one thousand is why I picked it over the level multiplier because usually you're gonna have level twos, like level threes are rare, so like not rare, but you won't get level threes as much until late game, so it's more relevant to have a 1,000 for sure boost than just a level multiplied. And it's still good for the change, like, in general, it's better. I f like, thinking about it, if you put the level multiplier, you have to pay one stock to call it out, then if you want to use the ability, you gotta pay three, pay two, so that's already three stock, and then you gotta, if you want to call this card, if you're looking for that card, then you have to pay two more, so it's a total of six, whereas with this, you can just pay one card from hand, that's one card from hand, one stock to call this, two, and then you still have, that's, you've technically stay, saved two, so you've gone from a neg two, kind of, to a neg four, which is kind of like a plus two in a sense. That's how I see it. And then finally, we run two, our only green cards are two uh, Le Lisbeth, uh, Leafa block cards. Now, um, because I haven't really explained this ruling, but block character blocks can be played without having the level the color it as in the level or in the stock the clock. So that's why we run two of these and the ability it's a two five block, not a three K blocker. It's abilities that when it's played, you can check the top card of your deck if it's a level one or higher, you can add it to your hand and then discard one card. So it gives lets you cycle through your deck really fast and efficiently and it's really good because 
it's still 2-5, and on top of that, it just offers a character, so you can salvage it with a gate. So yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much it for that. I'm gonna put those here. Um, like, for this card, for up here, you could switch this out for something if you want. I just think that yellow is pretty good. Um, next on, we are moving to level 1, so we run 12, I believe. Um... Originally it was 11, but I changed it. Uh, we ran four of these Elizabeths changing. Obviously, you guys know this. For every avatar net, she gains plus 500, so 6-5 usually. Then we run one of these uh, Kirito's. So he's a 1-0-5k. On the turn that you play him, he gains plus 500 for every avatar net character that you have on the field. So in general, it's kind of like this, except that it goes to 7k because it's a 5k. And it's only for the turn, though. So... The reason why I only run one is because it's only for the turn, and basically because the 500 isn't too big of a deal when you have a blocker like, say, like this, or if you have something like a booster behind it, because this deck has a lot of boosters, as you'll see later on in level zeros, so it's not too, too big of a difference in terms of power level, so that's why I only run one. We're going to push that up here. Yeah. And then... We run four of the really good new card that came out in the set. It's a Shinon, and her ability is that she can um, she gains plus five hundred, so just like her, but blue, obviously Shinon, and um, she has a clock encore, which is really good. So you just put the top card of your deck into clock, and then she can encore. So it's really good now. Now the deck has a really good like preset encore, unlike the previous Azuna one 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 six five, where you had to. Um, discard a card, so this one's like a basically a free encore. It's really good, and I really highly recommend getting four. Like, some people I've seen play three, but I just, I'm a big advocate of the, the four. And then finally, just to round off, we run three uh, assists, Ozna, you know, basically. <laughs> There's nothing else to say, except that card's really good, and still the best blocker for the level one uh, thing. Moving on, we run... Level zeros. We're running 18, uh, 17? Yeah, 17, because some, like, if you'll see in Japan, the top decks that have been winning don't actually run, they run, um, they don't actually run this card. Well, at most they run, like, a few, but they usually run a total of just eight levels, one zeros that you can call, and then, like, three blockers. But I prefer to have one extra one just because of the fact that I, f I don't usually have the best of luck of drawing one zeros, but, I mean, level ones, but you'll see why they cut down the ratio it's also because of the milling capabilities but you'll see why um so for level zeros we run one of the asana sofa this is just because i wanted to pair it up with the three of these cards three boosters um they're still really really viable now still and they're really good it's just the fact that i always seem to draw multiples of these so i only pick th uh grab three so i only wanted that and on top of that you want a body that's actually that stays that it doesn't get become like a suicider and won't just leave because it's a suicider that that can probably be better explained once i show you the reds but yeah so now that if you don't if you're counting that's four seven eleven so there's eleven yellows that's exactly why i had to run four oh, one. then for reds we run two of the silicas here, actually let me push this here two silicas uh, still really good brain brainstormer. Run two suiciders. Now, actually, these... Actually, no. That's fine. Yeah, two suiciders. Um, this suicider is, the, like, one of the reasons why I ran one of these. Because this can be a 4K body with acceleration. And it's really good like that. Because then I doesn't have to suicide. And I just wanted another body like that. Because I wanted the ratio to stay yellow. So that's why I didn't redu add one more of these. Which is big, one of the big factors. And then finally, as our actual suicider, our main suicider, I guess you could say, is this new Silica. It's her ability is that she, just like the the Leafa, it's that when she's put up placed, is if it's you check a character that's level one or, or higher, you can add it to your hand and then discard one card. So that milling aspect comes again, which is why it's so easy to get cards such as like this and your level ones because you mill through the deck quite fast, and there's more to that than just those. Five cards. Next up, we run four Runner Runner Kiritos. <laughs> That's what I call it. But it's basically you can place the top kit, top card of your deck into wait uh, into um. 
can't remember. Is it clock or waiting room? Let me check. That's the one card I didn't think I would need to check, but I guess I do. If the internet ever loads. Okay, so let's place the top card of your deck into waiting room, and then if then you can move this card to the center slot in your um, front stage. Oh, sorry, not any into any other empty slot in um, the front in the front row. So basically, if your opponent's attacking you this way, you can choose to pay one, and then you can move to the center so to avoid the attack, and then just give yourself more damage pushing you further along in damage so that you get to level 1 a lot faster, and on top of that, it just get, saves your resources, which is really powerful. And on top of that, and it has a secondary ability that when it attacks, you can give um, any card with Kirito, I think, in his name? Let me check. The second effect might not be very relevant if I manage to mouse over it, and my computer mouse is, my trackpad is going on the fritz. Oh, sorry. Any character with Sheen on its name, you can give it plus 1,000. So, it's kind of like a bond, semi-bond, I guess. But since we do run a lot of Sheen on, it's not that big of a deal. And then finally, we run another two Brainstormers. So, a lot of Brainstormers. And that's why I say that you can see level 1s really quickly. Because you cycle through the deck so quickly. It's this card. So, this card is... I don't think if you guys noticed, but I haven't shown you any searchers. And this card basically is the searcher of the deck. Um, you can run the Kirito searcher or any other searcher you want, but it's just the fact that this card is a brainstormer and a searcher. So its ability is pay one. Th um, the card in the center row, like the center slot, so if it's behind or anywhere, the center slot, front row, gains plus 1,000, which is another th reason why I only run three of these Azuna boosters, because there's a lot of boosting power here. Gains plus 1,000, and then on top of that, if you pay one stock, brainstorm, there's no other cause, just brainstorm. Check the top four, mill, everything. For every climax, search your deck for up to search your deck for a character card times the number of um, revealed climaxes you got. So if you get four, then you have to you can search for four, up to four though. So and this happens all sim simultaneously. So that means that you search first, and then afterwards you have to discard that many number of cards that you searched out. Basically, it's like a searcher, but on steroids, kind of. And then finally, for climaxes, we run four four gates. So we run one old gate, one of the newer gate, one of the promo gates, and then one of the TD gates. Now, basically, I'm only doing this because there's no actual relevance to, to like what gate you need to run. So I've just run. I just decided to run all the random gates so that it can. It kind of. It's kind of like that card fight vanguard mentality. If you see your, if your opponent sees you dropping these, they think they might think, oh, okay, so he's running maybe eight gates instead of other cards, like what you're about to see here. Um, you also run four of the climax combo with the Shinon. Now, this card is just a basic, um, same like the gate plus one thousand plus one sold everything in front, and. It's a book, so there's no actual, like, specific damage card that gives you specific power, which is why I run the Ozuna, like, for the, the Ozuna is really needed in this deck, because it gives you specific power boosts, but it's also because, no, actually, that's it, pretty much, but um, the reason why I say that this deck does go through really fast, and why there's only a few level ones, is because it's a book, so you draw one card once you get, once it gets revealed, so it's really powerful in that way, so you cycle through the deck even more, so this deck is a very big cycled deck. Like, I've been able to go through the deck at least two and a half times per match, and that's saying something, considering how I play. But yeah, guys, um, the deck in itself is really powerful now. I really don't think that Bushiroad can do anything else except, like, make the deck even more OP. Like, from here, there's nowhere except up, because... Well, actually, there is down, it's possible, but right now, the deck is at a very good point in its build, I guess and that it can show a lot of diversity now, and it's really powerful, and they have a lot of strong cards now. The card pool is very strong. Like, you could easily make a deck of any character in the game, in the show, and it'd be very strong. Anyways, apart from that, guys, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and the content, and until next time, this has been Tony, signing off. Bye!